It's 5.45 p.m., which means it's time for BCTV's Nightly News Roundup. I'm Roland Boyden from Okinawa, Japan, in front of the world's second largest aquarium. Just kidding, actually, we're at BCTV where renovations have begun. I'm standing in front of our brand new green screen, and I'll be here tonight with Joe Bushy as we begin tonight's broadcast. Now, uh, we have started uh, filming, pre-taping 5.45 Live, so the interest of full disclosure, we're going to be... Uh, presenting small webcasts that show at its regularly scheduled time, 5.45 p.m. on Channel 8. Tonight we got plenty of good stuff coming up, including the governor talking about mental health. We'll go live to Gallery Walk where Daryl Pillsbury is standing by, and of course we'll talk about this uh, vandalism arson case that is on everyone's mind. All that and more, and remember we do it all in 15 minutes, so stick with us here on 5.45 Live. <laughs> We in this state, for years, have not been treating our mental health patients with the dignity and the respect that they deserve because when they need acute care, we put them in a facility that doesn't dignify the quality of care that they need. Welcome back to this April 6th, 2012 edition of 545 Live. I'm Roland Boyden alongside Joe Bushy. We're broadcasting live from BCTV's soon-to-be newly renovated studio. It'll be all HD, which will put the pressure on our complexions for sure. <laughs> That's footage of Governor Shumlin talking at last week's press conference about the reboot, reboot Vermont's uh, health care network is about to get, Mental Health Care Network, which is big news for Brattleboro, as the retreat will play a substantial role in an official release. The administration outlined the path ahead, saying, quote, under the new law, acute inpatient health care will be provided at the Brattleboro Retreat, the Rutland Regional Medical Center, and Fletcher Allen Healthcare in Burlington. And they'll be putting together a new uh, 16 to 25 bed secure facility, and that's going to be located in Central Vermont Medical Center uh, in Berlin. All right, next, three local teens are being charged with the various acts of vandalism and arson which occurred starting last Friday night here in Brattleboro. A 13-year-old, 14-year-old, and 15-year-old are being held responsible for starting two fires one a car fire to Vermont Bread Company, and the other a building fire at Barrows and Fisher Oil Company, which resulted in a 30 by 80 foot storage building being burnt to the ground with vehicles inside of it. The group of teens is also suspected of being responsible for vulgar graffiti spray painted on various walls and windows of the Brattleboro Union High School and Middle School, as well as many smashed car windows throughout the Brattleboro area, and other vandalism as well. The teenagers' names and the charges against them are being withheld due to the Vermont law, which prevents them from being charged as an adult and disclosure of their names. Joe, you were out uh, filming this footage way late into the night. I was sound asleep while you were taping some of this, yeah, but that's so the footage we've been uh, looking at on the screen. Uh, what was it, uh, 2, 2, 3 in the morning? That 2, 3 you... o'clock in the morning, yeah. yeah. Been down there for a little while. Well, uh, in addition, at Tuesday's select board meeting, new chair David Gardenstein talked about... Uh, this case, what it means to the community, and how uh, accountability will be dealt with moving forward. Because of the nature of the criminal justice system and the juvenile justice system, we may not hear anything going forward about consequences that may be happening or about what's happening with uh, um, the perpetrators of, of uh, that course of criminal conduct. Next, we've got a car raffle going on here. In an effort to support equipment purchases and upgrade its emergency response equipment, Rescue Incorporated is kicking off a raffle for a 2012 Subaru Impreza this evening at Gallery Walk. The raffle started just moments ago at 5.45 p.m. this evening in front of Renaissance Jewelry. All proceeds will go toward implementing upgrades in technology that Rescue Incorporated has been planning for some time. The winner will be announced on July 4th at the Brattleboro Living Memorial Park just before the fireworks let off. Your partner in crime, Joe, Daryl Pillsbury, is out uh, right. for Gallery Walk. You're going to be booking it out of here down there with a the camera to do the uh, Pulse sure. of Brattleboro, long-running series Pulse of Brattleboro uh, for Gallery Walk. But he is live down there with our new uh, intern and uh, Leland and Gray co-op student who's been working so hard, Nolan Edgar, who's down there and via cell phone and Skype. We hope to get Daryl. Uh, let's see if we can uh, get these guys up on the line here. Daryl. All righty. Daryl, are you down there? Take it away. Hey guys, thanks uh, for having me on. Uh, we're live right down here at the April Gallery Walk, and it's just now getting started. 
uh, they're setting up the tables now. A little breezy, weather's nice. If you're watching this at home, folks, come on down. It's our gallery walk night. Uh, a lot of stuff to do. It should be pretty festive here. So anyway, you know, come on down. See what's happening. Food, fun, all sorts of good stuff. Uh, for 545 Live, this is Daryl Pillsbury. Back to you guys in the studio. All right, moving on. Next week uh, will mark one year since the Brooks House fire ravaged downtown. Now it looks like there could be some positive news as uh, the building may be purchased uh, in a one-year anniversary piece to include some of the footage uh, you're looking at right now uh, shot by you, Joe, along with several other BCTV volunteers who are out there to capture that uh, unbelievable blaze. All right, that's about all I got for today, Joe, uh, for the headlines. Let's jump into traffic and weather quickly. And they're getting ready to change the, la the traffic flow lane from what was all on southbound to uh, soon it's going to be all on northbound over those two bridges, Maple Street and William Street. So folks should uh, get ready for some orange there uh, as they uh, travel on 91. However, it's all in the green today, so uh, you'll be flying on 91 if you're going that way. And if you're headed north on Putney Road, uh, you're good to go as well as you're in the green. Uh, you get that orange heavy volume but still moving going south on Putney Road and the red happens to land between High Street and uh, Malfunction Junction, as it so often does. That's if you're headed south. Uh, so if you are going south down Main Street, might want to find an alternate route, though. If uh, you're headed north on Main Street, go for it. Uh, you may not be in the green, but you've got that orange, which means you got up to 25 miles an hour, which through downtown is a gift. All right, that's our traffic report powered by Enrix and Beat the Traffic. Before we go, Joe, let's just quickly talk weather here for a second. And I'll look at what's coming up oh. here as part of the forecast. Of course, uh, the weather, last time we did a weather report as we were still up in the, the studio. The 10 day across there was into the 80s, remember that? I don't think I saw anything below 60. I figured... Uh, and that was last month. That was last month. I know, I didn't buy myself anywhere propane thinking that we were good to go. Then, of course, now I've been... Uh, then, of course, 29 tonight. I buy myself some extra slippers for sure. I uh, just burn the furniture you don't need, that's, right? That's right. <laughs> yeah, so we're looking at a... Uh, uh, low here. I'm just going to X that out. We don't even need that kind of weather. Okay, we're here. back out of low, the freezing 29. dregs now. Yeah, and uh, we'll look at some partly cloudy weather coming up tomorrow. Uh, partly cloudy and a bunch of the wind advisory for Sunday as well. All right. Well, we are still, as of now, we're still in the fire danger warning also. Red flag uh, warnings are up throughout the state and New Hampshire as well. And then uh, I'll just make a note, not that it's good news, but you'll see showers Monday all the way through a week from today, Friday, is what the, the weather channel's telling us anyway. Showers for uh, a good five days straight. At least it's not showers over the weekend. All right, Joe, that's about all I got uh, for today. But remember that Brooks House special that's coming back on Monday. We've been working uh, hard on that. We'll have some footage from that fateful night, uh, along with plenty of interviews and uh, hopefully a, a positive outlook uh, is what we're hoping to glean from those interviews as they uh, look forward to what's happening in downtown and the downtown economy. All right, for BCTV and 545 Live, I'm Roland Boyden alongside Joe Bushy. Thanks to everybody that makes 545 Live tick the way it does, uh, in particular BCTV Operations Manager Vlasta Papelka, who works so hard to help us get our act together. We've got our new uh, intern, Nolan Edgar, who is slaving away here, uh, pumping out some good scripts for us. He's been working away filming video as well, live downtown with Daryl Pillsbury to make that webcast happen. In addition, we've got some great content specialists who slip us some delicious footage every now and then. Ian Keel, Paige Martin, Maria Dominguez, Thank you as well for making 545 Live a spectacular show. I'm Roland Boyden alongside Joe Bushy. Did I say that already? For BCTV and 545 Live, thanks for watching, everybody. Good night. Boom.